Hi, my friend, Sam Via, Redken Global Artistic Ambassador here with Education Director for Sam Via, Andrew Carruthers. How are you, Andrew? I'm doing good, ready to braid. Yeah, we're on our third part series of this segment. I'm excited about this one. You've done good with the first two, Thanks. inside plat and outside plat. Now we're gonna show them a twisted plat. And you're probably wondering, what's a twisted plat? It's a combination of both inside and outside. Let's show with the ropes first. That's what we've been doing, is for those of you that have seen it for the first time, work with ropes. You can really manipulate your fingers Get your rhythm, exercise your fingers, then take it to the hair, less frustration. So let's go, we're gonna utilize an inside movement, which was this, and then a stack movement. So you got both positions doing this, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Braid appearing on the inside, braid appearing on the outside. We're gonna combine these with a twist. So now you're gonna really see why it was important to learn how to manipulate your fingers this way. Palm, pinch, I'm gonna take everything from the top. If that's the top of the head, I'm gonna take everything from the top under. Palm, pinch, over. Everything from underneath is gonna come over. Now watch the top. Palm, pinch, under. Stack position. Palm, middle, because I'm in stack position, based on those other videos, where do we palm? Middle. Palm, pinch the left X. Now I'm gonna go to an over position. That comes over. Now here we go. Palming right hand, so I'm gonna palm, pinch. Now I'm gonna move to a stack position. Palm, pinch, over. Palm, pinch, stack. Palm, pinch, over. Palm pinch, stack, palm pinch over, palm pinch, stack, palm pinch over. Now let's hold it like that's the head. And that's the, she's looking that way. This is the side of the head. Palm pinch, under. Now palm pinch, look at me, go to an over position. Palm pinch, under, palm pinch, over. Now if you're a braider that does this, it's very difficult to get that effect doing this motion. Okay, so let's take it to the head and show them the difference, Andrew. Now what's critical too, guys, is product is not an option, it's a necessity when we braid. So I'm gonna work with Redkin's Braid Aid 03. Get a lot of slip in this product, and you can see, look at the slip, so you're not gonna get a lot of tack even though your control is 03. So let's go in and let's emulsify. Now watch how we apply. I rake, look at the palm, back of my hand get through, come underneath, palm of my hand has product, and the top of my bottom hand has product. So we're gonna work in this section. Now, when we start this, Andrew, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a twist right away. So we're gonna take three sections, diagonal forward section, and we're going to twist away from the head. So we're gonna take three sections, look at my palm come underneath, and I twist away from the head. Now don't let that twist bother your mind and your eyes and what you see. Just treat these as three separate sections. So let's treat them now as three separate sections. And remember what I said, everything from the, from the top goes under. So on my right hand palms, Pinch, under. But now as I go under, look what I'm doing. Now can you see I'm twisting that? So can you see why this position was critical? If had I done a typical cornrow motion that I've learned, then I wouldn't be able to twist. So this position, pinch, is critical because it allows you to twist. Now watch me maintain that. Palm, pinch, over. Now this one, I turn, twist towards the face. So everything is twisting towards the face goes back in. Let's do palm. Pinch, under. Now let's slice and feed, and we're gonna add some hair underneath. So I slice, and I add into that stack position. Once I have that in that stack position, you continue your, mo your motion, your rhythm. Palm, because I'm in a stack position, what do we palm? The middle section. So I palm, now watch as I palm. I twist, pinch, under. And as I bring this over, I twist it. Add some hair. Now watch me twist, twist, back to the pinch, palm, pinch, under, and slice and feed, and middle, palm, twist, look at me twist, look at my thumb, holds the twist, palm, pinch, over, slice and feed, clean your sections up, look at the control I have, three sections, palm, middle, towards the face, twist towards the face, palm, pinch, under, now slice and feed. So everything on the top is in a stack position. Now watch as I palm here, look what I do. Twist, get a nice strong twist, and maintain the twist, move to an over position. Over, okay, give it a little twist just to combine these sections together, back into your hand. Now we come through, palm, pinch, twist, under. Add some hair, and palm middle, 
and twist before you move. So I twist, palm, pinch, over. So now if you watch part one and part two, part one was inside. This is an inside movement. Part two was outside. That's an outside movement. So you can see on this braid how we're combining the two together. Look how I came back to the middle, just twisted that before I add hair. Hey, here we go. A stack position. So which one do we palm? We palm middle. Remember, stack position, always palming middle. Palm, twist. Excellent. Now we go to an over position. Palm, pinch, over position. Slice and feed. Now once you get your rhythm, it's simple. Okay. Palm, pinch, under, get to an under position, a stack position, come back to the middle and give it a twist. Okay, now slice and feed to your stack position. Palm, pinch, over position, slice and feed. Now here's something I'm discovering. Makes it easier if you just twist when you get to the middle. When you're here, just simply give it that twist. Now slice and feed. So as you learn, it's amazing some of the things that you discover as we mm -hmm. continue to go through. So have you, how have you been doing on your braiding? Good. Once you started to teach me these patterns, it started to make sense because, you know, I would watch girls in the salon do this all day long and it seemed like they just didn't even have to think about it. And for me, I'd get all tangled up in the hair. So as you've taught me these patterns, it's made my mind, which is a little more mechanical, really start to understand it. Excellent, yep. And you can see this is three strands and you see how you've attached it to the head. You could also do it with two, more like a rope braid if you want. But learning to do it with three, it's amazing in terms of how it works with three. So once again, my good friend, Education Director Andrew Crothers, always trying to give you information that you can use behind the chair. Yeah, try this out guys. I think it's gonna really help you uh, to understand these braids on a much, much deeper level. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with some more. Oh, my God.